Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to my Harry Potter theme week where I'm uploading a Harry Potter theme recipe every single week this week from Monday to Friday. So if you haven't subscribed and ring the notification bell, you should because Harry Potter is awesome and if you don't want to miss out. Uh, so today we are combining two trends and I hope this is cool. I'm like, is it weird or is it cool? I don't know, but it's a Harry Potter mermaid cake. So mermaids are trendy. Sorry for the plug, but I actually just published a book called Mermaid Food. Oh, I get the courage if you want to pick it up. I'm sorry, I had to. But a time you guys love Harry Potter, so I thought I'd combine them. Today's Mermaid Tale is Gryffindor colors, but you could easily do them in Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff or Slytherin. Of course, I'd mess up the house that I'm in. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So first we are going to make the thin. You want to get some red and yellow candy melts and pop them into some microwave safe bowls. Microwave them at 30 second intervals until they are fully melted. Place them into piping bags and snip off the tips to create medium sized round piping tips. Draw a mermaid thin onto a sheet of parchment paper and then flip the parchment paper over and pop it onto a flat tray or a small cutting board. Then pipe the candy melts onto the parchment paper making a thin that is half red and half yellow. Stick the lollipop stick into the base of each color and this is going to help stick the thin to the cake later on. And then before the candy melts start to harden, sprinkle the surface with some gold star sprinkles. I think that this looks so cool. It looks so Harry Potter to me. I'm so excited about this fin. Oh my god. And then carefully transfer the entire tray to the fridge and chill the fin while you assemble the cake. Then to make the buttercream, you want to beat some butter with an electric mixer until fluffy. Add some vanilla extract and if you like some vanilla custard flavoring and mix to combine. And this flavoring just tastes like custard and I think it's a nice change from just regular buttercream. You don't have to use it, but um, I am because it, I'm excited. So if you want to use it, um, I'll also have it linked below. Then add some confectioner sugar, one cup at a time, and then beat for three to five minutes or until it is light and fluffy. Then for the actual cake itself, I'm using my basic vanilla cake recipe. I made it in so many videos, so we're taking a break in this video because I feel like it's overkill. You probably know how to make it by this point, but if you don't, I'll have it linked in the cards and down below. But I've divided the recipe in half and dyed half red and half yellow. And then you want to trim the tops and bottoms off all cakes to create a smooth surface and remove any excess browning. But leave the top of one of the cakes rounded because this is going to be the top layer and we're going to take as much height as we can. <laughs> then stack the cakes and alternate between red and yellow. So my rounded cake was red, so I had that as a top layer, but it can be any color that you'd like. It can be red or yellow. Then spread some buttercream between each layer. Use a serrated knife to carve the cake into a rounded cone shape. Then cover the cake in a thin layer of buttercream and pop it into the fridge to chill for 20 minutes. Divide the remaining buttercream in half and dye it red and yellow. Place it into piping bags and snip off the ends to create large round piping tips. Starting at the base of the cake, pipe a row of yellow dollops and then use a small cake spatula to spread each dollop upwards creating a fish scallop. And you can kind of use a butter knife to do this as well, um, but butter knives aren't usually completely round at the tip, so that's why I like to use a cake spatula, and if you don't have one, I'll link one down below. Then repeat on the next row for the red buttercream, and keep repeating and alternating the colors until you reach the top of the cake. Then just sprinkle some more gold star sprinkles on top of the cake, and gently stick the fin into the top of the cake, and you are done. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you liked this recipe. And make sure to stay tuned tomorrow for another Halloween of Halloween and Harry Potter themed recipe. Tomorrow's is a three recipes in one video. And oh, I'm so excited. Each recipe has a different set that I like shot it in. And it's all like very, um, I don't know, like based around the recipe. It's so cool. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. And if you didn't catch the end of yesterday's video, um, I wanted to let you know that there is going to be a Harry Potter giveaway sometime during this month and it's going to be announced on YouTube and on Instagram. So follow me there on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube if you haven't yet so that you don't miss out. I'm probably also going to be announcing it in the community feed on YouTube. So if you subscribe, it'll like show up in your subscription box. There is a fly in my house. I can see my hair. Um, but yeah, so another reason for me to subscribe. But anyways, yes, I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow for a new video. Bye.